Hello and welcome to this brief demonstration of a Sony PSP with the new Skype client on it connected to a PC which has got a Skype client on it also. On the left hand side of the screen you're seeing the screen from a Sony PSP and on the right hand side you're seeing the screen from a PC. Okay, so on the PlayStation I'm going to go across to the far right hand side and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to select the Skype. Press the cross key to start Skype and now this will look to connect wirelessly to a wireless access point. So here are the two available to me and the one I want to select is called Connected Home. I've now hopefully joined and it's signing on. Um, this PSP is called Connected PSP 1. And you can see that I have available to me my profile. If I press the triangle key for options at any time, then on that one I get sign out. And now if I go down one, two, whoop, apologies. If I go to contacts and select that one, you can see I've got one contact there which is called Connected Home. That's actually the name of the Skype user on the PSP. Then I've got history. Then I've got the ability to key in a phone number here by using a pad so here I can go around and type in a number I'm not going to do that and back again and then at the bottom I've got some tools so settings my account and manage blocked users okay so if I go up to Skype contacts now I'm sure this is where we'll get some feedback between the two devices because they're both on my desk here so if I now click on contacts and select connected home you'll now see that on the left hand side connected home is ringing and on the right hand side you can see that the PC client is being asked to answer it I'm now going to answer it so now there is a direct connection between the two of those. Um, I'm sorry I can't demonstrate too much more than that but that's the basics of a Skype call connecting. Options that I have available here to hold, to dial pad, to hang up and to view profile. Okay, thank you very much for watching this demonstration. It's been Andrew Goff from Connected Education. Thank you.